All right, welcome everyone. Resemblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Kaiji, Kaiji season, season one, one, episode five, five. a death match. Mm -hmm. It's time to d d d d duel. Yes, and it's paper versus rock. Wait, is this Wait. a foregone conclusion? Or, 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 hold on, Choto Mate, mm -hmm. is it, is it actually all in your head? Mm -hmm. Is this, is, is Kaiji about to Keikaku <gasps> all over their dory? I, I, I think so. I think he will. I think so. Yep. I think he's basically going to, to drain them specifically for all the cards that they think are free passes against rock. Yep. But secretly he has some paper. Mm -hmm. So, yes, yeah. he's ready just, for that. Just, Suck them dry, ultra instinct mind games them, just just get in their head and and yeah, take those I, stars. I, I'm very excited to have this be a thing of where the uh the other team here mm -hmm. is just like, yeah, we're gonna offload our paper onto them. But like, why do that in the beginning when we need to get rid of our actually dangerous cards, which right. are our rocks? Make sure you know? that we that we know that they might have one or two other cards in there, you know, that, that they're trying to surprise us with, and that's why they challenged us. So we'll just, we'll, we have other cards too. We'll play those first. Oh, wait, shit. He actually just played Rock, even though we know he has Rock. Right, right. Yeah. And one of the things that is also rather smart that the other team could do is they just play really slowly. Just let the game go longer. Oh. Because if they're then like, yeah, you have to play us. They're then thinking about oh. it's the thing of where, no, 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 you have all those rock. Eventually, you'll have to play them. You're going to have to play them against us. Oh, that'd be dirty, yeah. We agree to a death match, so now we have to keep playing each other. Then they just take a really long time to play while the scissors keep going down. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be brutal. That would be brutal. But yeah, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Yep. Oh, shit, now it's like two to one for the... Scissors to the others? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's where it was at before, yeah. Goldilocks. See, he's poking him. He's getting under his skin. Mm -hmm. Look desperate enough. Have your friends stupidly, like, be like, mm -hmm. oh, you're being right. an idiot. Which yeah. will play into this whole thing here. Absolutely. これは1試合で切り上げる。おお。デスマッチもクソもねえんだよ。話にもならねえ。行くぞ。待ってくれ。分かったよ。2試合。2試合でどうだ。There Oh, yeah. I think so. I think you were right, Caleb. He pulled this card out of there. There was not a big deck in there. Oh! Oh, fuck! Oh! Nice! No, it doesn't. Yeah, so his right, one Mr. star and all of that money. It's in addition to our three stars. Oh, shit. And this is where he needs their trust entirely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He knows he's playing a uh -huh. rock. Right, right. 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 Holy shit. I'm trying to make up for the fact that you numbskulls lost to our two of our stars. <laughs> this is all perfect. Yeah. It's making him more antsy to do this. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, because now it's based on whether or not they'll agree to it rather than whether or not he thinks it's a good idea. Fuck! If I can't, not I'll give it to you regardless. Cool, cool. Good to know. 
I need to get. I need to get them to shut the fuck up. Uh huh. Because mm -hmm. he can't. He can't make Kitami know that he actually told them something convincing. He needs to make it think that it's just he convinced them to take a leap. Yeah. A miracle. Mm hmm. And he needs to do this loud enough that right. all the logic and reasoning something mm -hmm. is in front there. <sighs> oh! He's doing it! Yeah. He's doing it! Right, but he can't tell them that he has a reason because then they'll know and they'll back off. They need to come up with like a code word of uh -huh. like, if I ever say the last laugh or something, just shut the fuck up no, and go start along. crying and be like, we'll yeah. do it, we'll believe in right, you, right, you know? Right. And it's like, that'll be your, that'll be your trick, you know? Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Four minutes. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. That's such a fucking anime moment. Yep. No, I did it. Yep. Yep. <laughs> ビ、勝負だ。星3つ。そんな急に言われても。あ何言ってんだってめえ。ふざけるなよ。いや。あ、if Way more. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're being smart. <laughs> yeah. They're hesitant. Uh-huh. Holy shit. Wow. Fucking <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm about to end your whole career and yep. change your life. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kaiji has reached Nirvana. Uh huh. He's tapping into everything. Three stars. Say it out loud. <laughs> Maybe it's not even that he realizes oh, he only shit. has one card left. Maybe it's that he's like, okay, he already decided what card it would be when he went to pull it out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in that it's a single card means he didn't have to look at it. Right. Uh -huh. Does he go for the same pocket? Oh, but he pulled it from his inner right. But I think that's where he, I think that's where he put it away, though. But it was originally in. It was originally down there. Yeah. Yeah. He has one card in his hand now. Yep. <sighs> <laughs> the time dilation mm -hmm. would be nuts yep, yep. It's a hell of a drug. Alright. Alright. この余分なカードを使い。Wait. Did he plant a card on him somehow? No way. No way. Wait a minute. Holy shit. He's he's like this is the wrong card. Oh, when he grabbed his shoulder as he as he as he left, is that when it happened? 
No, 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 okay, okay. no, he just realized. Wait, I fucked up. We missed something. <laughs> Alright, flip the cards! What did you say? Yes! Yes! Uh huh. Yes! One more match. Uh huh. One card. Yep. Right, win or lose, we're advancing, which means that is the last card. Yep. Mm -hmm. yep. Wow. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Reveal it, reveal it. <laughs> <laughs> Originally thought of the same strategy and then they swapped! It's a- it's a rock! That's why he called it an extra card! <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> you said it was an extra card! Exactly! Right! Win or lose! Oh. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, okay, right, because if they're stockpiling, that's how it wouldn't be a problem. Okay. Mm -hmm. And hey, they'll still win with this, they just won't have extra stars. Come on, flip the shit! What, it's an extra paper? And that's why he went up against them for one more match? But no, because they would... だからこの2つがグースであるおい、Oh, it is paper? <laughs> but why would he play Oh, gotcha. Cuz cuz they weren't actually necessarily needing to beat Kaiji. Gotcha, right, 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 because okay. they had even numbers of all the others. Right. Yeah, so it was a really bad decision to bet so much on this. But, okay, maybe it was that simple. He yeah. wasn't He wasn't trying to offload a rock. They were just playing against each other. Yep. Yeah. All right. Wow, let's fucking go! Let's go, boys! Oh! <laughs> oh, now he can't even accept the part. Now they might not even be able to draw against each other. Well, they have. They might have literally no cards left other than, you know. Oh, right, you're saying they have extra cards. But it's all even, so. Right, right, right. Let's play them some more. Well... Oh, shit! Oh, fuck! Yeah, cuz- Wait! Wait! Oh, wait. shit! Oh, my God! Yeah! Cuz if you get enough and you have people you trust, then you can just draw out on all the others. Well, no, 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 they still have to win more stars. No, no, right, they but- They guarantee other people have to play against play, them. Yeah, exactly, and if they guarantee that people are gonna be playing scissors against them, then they can just play rock and, and win, and then with all the excess cards that they have, they just draw as long as they have an even number. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So after a certain point, they'll have to stop playing against new challengers. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck. Wow, that, right, was, that was great. It. We got it. I can't we believe we didn't it. think of the idea of, wait, no, they're in a group. Even numbers of cards. Right. 
there you go. Regardless of whether they already did all their drawing or not, mm -hmm. they're just trying to get rid of an out of, you know. Right. They they don't actually have 30 cards to get rid of. They have up to three cards to get rid of. Right. That's it. That's right? It. Yep. That's it. And then because they all trust each other so much, then that with anything else, yeah, cool. You just, mm -hmm. there you go. Yeah. That That's brilliant. I love it. Mm -hmm. I love it. Like, that's that's a way that Kaiji sticking with these two actually is a good idea. It actually worked out perfectly. Yep. And then the idea of all that convincing and stuff was just to have him lose his cool for a second and be like, yep. no, I have to get into this one here because, yeah, they're super desperate. It's a sure thing. Right. And even if it's not, um, uh, oh, man, like, like. The idea that I had of throwing paper because they went to them to get rid of the card that would be problematic, aka mm -hmm. rock, was completely potentially something that they had maybe even thought about, even though the anime didn't choose to focus on it. But it's the no, no, it's even it's even simpler than that. Yeah. We can just we can just get rid of one card, and as long as it as long as it's literally just something that we get rid of, it's fine. Yep. But by them thinking that it's actually an easy win, they then end up throwing away all their bonus money from having those extra stars. Right. So now the trust is eroded mm -hmm. from the group, and even if they have only two cards left, they won't necessarily want to play with each other. Nope. Yeah, because even even with the, like, oh, yeah, we have even numbers and we're just going to trade down with each other and, and it'll be good. They don't, though. That's why they're so, they're, they're, they probably have more than two cards, and that's why they're actually so oh, no. antsy now, is that they're, like... Yeah, they have, they have, like, 20 cards, and it's the, it's an even, num it's even numbers of all the but different they things. they can't count on people now to draw fairly. Exactly, yeah. because, because, well, they're not making any money out of this, mm -hmm. and, and they all kind of, like, screwed things up for each other by, mm -hmm. by doing things this way, so, yep. okay. I, I almost would swoop in for the kill a little bit and try to actually get rid of more of their cards maybe as well. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, um, I'm sorry, more of their stars. But, but right now, no, 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 no. That worked out really well. Yep. Everyone else saw that they played a card that wasn't rock. So at the very least, um, that... The loud uh, conversations about the stock know, strategizing stuff and, yeah. is not affecting the group um, dynamic. So no. right now, instead of JoJo style where talking is a free action, talking is a stealth action in this exactly uh, in this anime. Yep. But but not when there's a direct challenge involved. It does right. come into play mechanically when they're sitting across the table from each other or standing across the table and you hear them pleading with each other for, you know, we gotta do this. Uh -huh. and, and Kaiji putting his heart and soul and everything in into convincing them, into pissing off the other team. Yeah. Like just all of it. All of it. Yeah. It was perfect. No, there was no sleight of hand. No, there was no Nope. Kaiji is a listener. Kaiji is an observer. Mm -hmm. He he remembers everything. His his skill here is that he just notices all the slight little inconsistencies in the way people approach the gambling table, yep. basically. Mm -hmm. So in some ways, this anime is perfect for us because then we'll be rewarded for thinking like Kaiji and trying to observe the other players and mm -hmm. think about what they might be, you know, letting slip accidentally. Oh, yeah. So, we, yeah. We were right from the beginning in the previous episode, but we ended up going off in the, well, wait, what was the actual mechanism that brought this team to mm -hmm. want to play them? Yep. Okay. Wow. Yeah. And I love wow. that it was something where, no, they don't agree to the death match because that'd be fucking stupid, mm -hmm. right? There's no way they'd do that. But, but why wouldn't they do but that? But why wouldn't they do that? And the fact that Kaiji challenged them to the death match mm -hmm. to make himself look more desperate and all of that was part of the con. Yes. Right? That that wasn't just a, a needless detail or whatever. No, that was important. He could tell that they didn't want to do that. Like, right. Like, not just because of the, oh, well, it would be easier wins, but we have a stro chosen strategy. It's the, well, no, we have a chosen strategy, and that would be... Mm -hmm. Like we would, we would lose potentially if we did that. Right. Yep. We would. We would Whereas now everything. it's the we have the advantage in stars, so we would have more to lose. You have less to, you know, bet. So yeah, we wouldn't do that. Right. So all this then to set up at the very end, of the throws down the money mm -hmm. and it's like, well, 
okay, he has to keep them on the ropes there, thinking that this is a good idea for them to stay yep. in. And wow, yeah, he's actually playing into that sunk cost fallacy of throwing the money down, being like, oh, but don't mm -hmm. you want this money? It's yeah. right there. Right. The the fact that he used the money to leverage them to agree to the duel, that was great. Because that was it's so the because because one of the things that I thought might get brought up uh -huh. is that they started counting the time, but they never actually agreed to the bet. They didn't, right? No. Which theoretically they could have gotten away with, yep. right? They, but they they didn't. They had no reason to actually stay after yeah. the time was up. I was thinking that the that the 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 suits might end up getting involved, you know, with the with the Oh no! There was there was an agreement that was made, and so now we're going to we we are the enforcers, and so yeah, the we, you know we hold that to happen. The but. only thing I think that they will step in to do is once a check has been made, mm -hmm. then the game is going. Yep, and it's the okay that now now you're locked into it. You have to play right. You you say set now that now the cards are played. Nothing else is changing. Right, you know? right. Yeah. Check I believe is the I have decided to play. Right. And then set, set is the, this is the card this that is, is card. played. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. for that time, they can sit there and look mm -hmm. while the other person has set. And they can right. be like. But but the, whatever is, is the stakes is effectively on the table. Right. And so now they can't back out of it. Cool. Right, right. And that's the kind of thing where the suits need to be there to listen to what the stakes were so that mm -hmm. they can be enforced properly. Yep. Make sure no one's just grabbing stars off of people's. You know, stickers or right. things like yeah. that. Yeah, no, no shady shenanigans mm -hmm. of like you know trying to steal other people's stars, yep. cards, or offloading cards. I love that we already had someone doing that. Like that was um, the previous episode, mm -hmm. right? But like these two teams now might literally have to think about doing that if the other team actually had a bunch more cards uh -huh. that they. That they now don't feel safe actually trading down with their teammates. Exactly. Yeah. Because of the way that they had um, him specifically, without even looking, just grab a card, meant that they had already separated it from the groups of other cards. Right, which also makes sense because if you think about it, if you're going into a situation like this and you're challenging people, mm -hmm. especially if they don't know that you've been stockpiling, you don't want to pull out a fat stack and then be like, all right, where's my, you know, like, no, that's, exactly. that'd be dumb, right? Right. So... So yeah, you you separate the cards, and they probably have some some stockpile somewhere amidst you know amongst the three of them, or you know mm -hmm. or whatever some some way that it works. But they don't even touch those cards unless they're doing their own shenanigans. Well, they're, they're probably the in their little sealed compart the sealed um containers like money pouches. That they, yeah, that they they were given, mm -hmm. and it's the thing of where I don't have to draw those out. And in, in other ways, I actually think the um the uh, the money pouches not the money mount pouches um. Oh, they are money pouches, actually, because mm -hmm. they could put, theoretically, cards in them. They might not be shaped properly, but it's just the idea that based on the way that you draw the cards out of your hand, you could theoretically end up accidentally showing some people things, I guess. Right, like, even if you even if you did something where it's the, I always have three cards in my hand of, you know, one of each, mm -hmm. and then in between challenges, maybe you mix everything together and pull one of each out there, you know? Yeah, it's so. fun watching card game players, like mm -hmm. Magic the Gathering players and stuff like that, go to physical... Um, card tournaments and uh -huh. stuff like that and holding their hand which is going to have you know anywhere between three and you know ten cards or something mm -hmm. like that and they'll sit there and they'll like shuffle their cards in hand constantly to avoid people card counting not uh -huh. not, not card counting but like position counting sure so like knowing based on where right. that is if you're if you're playing in like a like with a traditional deck and you sort things by suit and highest to lowest or things like yeah, that yeah yeah, yeah. all you that know, stuff then, yeah. is all that stuff is information that you end up potentially giving away mm -hmm. and professional card players of, of that type will either never pick up their cards they'll leave them always on the table like poker sure or if they have a hand where they're playing like magic for instance they'll be constantly shuffling it but when shuffling it they have to be very careful they don't show anything to another player based on right. that that part of the card because the people are eagle-eyed in in that regard so gotcha I, I just love the idea that kaiji is that's his skill mm -hmm. he's not eagle-eyed he's just perceptive as fuck with regards to the inconsistencies of people right so. getting he's the he's the kid that was good at the um the math story problems in class where it's the mm -hmm. okay wait hang on where's all the information in these and these you know yeah, extra words that are being thrown variables. out yeah yeah mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Fuck. that okay. was that was great that was very satisfying and even though the entire episode was basically just 
What card are you going to play? What card are you going to play? Are like, you going to play? Yeah. Uh, right, right. Yeah. 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 I'm very curious to see if there was uh, something that he had to whisper to the other two to be like, no, just trust me. Go go with this. You know? I don't think so. I don't think so. I think that's the magic of this this anime so far is that the times where they flash back to show context with like a classic mystery reveal mm -hmm. kind of story structure where you basically are like, here are the clues that were there all along. Let's go back and show you how we came to this conclusion. Instead of having it be the, there were things that were said that were off screen that you didn't know. Mm -hmm. It's more the, oh, no, no, no. There were things that were very much shown to you, the audience, but you didn't realize how someone thought about that or responded to right. that internally. Because one of the things I was thinking even with the previous episode is like, okay, even if even if with the things of like, oh, this will be our last play and things like that, mm -hmm. they know that they've been stockpiling cards. So this can't actually be their last card. So what's the deal there? I didn't think about the, oh no, they have a bunch of just an even number of the others. Sure. Right. There you go. And now that that strategy is something that we've had in some ways doubled down on because I think we had it either brought up in the anime or we brought it up like a few episodes ago of the idea of like, well, couldn't you just grab a person and just tie right. them immediately in the very beginning yeah, of that's the what, game? Yeah, that's what the Kaiji's beginning situation was. And then the guy yeah. just knew how to, you know, do that yeah, and yeah. then get a couple free stars so that he was up in money. And right, there you so, go. That, so that strategy is one that is very much viable, it, but it doesn't you need work to trust the unless person. you 100% trust the person. But right. in order to do that, you kind of need to go through the uh -huh. ringer with somebody. Unless I, I wonder if the suits would let you basically be like, okay, pull out the one card, you show it to the other person. This is the card we're going to play. Check set. You know? Oh there yeah, you go. I think they would 100% like allow let that, that happen. Yeah, but it would be the thing of where they go, okay, check. You know, and they'd be like, check. Mm -hmm. Which card are you gonna play? And play this one, okay? Right. And then and, and then, then they flip their card, and then they flip the card back, and they're like, "Say okay. set." Yeah. But whoever play. says set first loses immediately, because then oh. they can be like, "Nope, I'm not gonna play this card." And then, oh sure, that's yeah. that's the dangerous part of it is that the card is not locked in until they say set. Right. I, I whoever suppose, says set first, I could suppose you pull could, back. You could come up to it. You could make an agreement for the ch set of challenges with the suits there to maybe enforce of the. You know, we we will uh, we will both place our cards on the table, and then we will. You know, I don't think like, they would. I don't think they would. I don't think they would enforce that. Yeah. No. Nope. Yeah. I think there's there's very simple rules so that it's the human error and human and human greed, greed and all that comes stuff that, into play. That's what they profit off of. Yeah. And yeah. They, they there's there's literally an anti incentive for them to do to enforce that. Mm -hmm. yep. yep. They're going to only enforce the rules of what are the stakes. Mm -hmm. Which then could be the kind of thing that would be predetermined because that that does benefit them in some ways that people decide actual stakes beyond mm -hmm. the match themselves. Because as long as money moves hands, they don't care whose hands it ends up going into. Right. Because someone they, with less money than yeah. they started off with there is going to be in debt longer. Exactly. They make money off of the war funds and from people losing. There you go. Or just the money moving hands, right? Because as long as someone has excess... That means someone else has less. No, right. Yeah, exactly. And well, and and not just the less, but because it's at a set amount, right? Right. If someone has, say, two stars, but they need three, and so they lose, right? Mm -hmm. That's all of the stuff that they could have theoretically had and gained and all of that stuff. Nope, that mm -hmm. goes away, right? Right. And so there you go. Like the, like the the worst thing for them would be if everybody just went down to zero, you know, <laughs> did the did the trading thing, yes. and they're like, yay, we we get whatever the reward is for winning, and then they're like, well. Okay, fine. Damn it. You know, right? Like, but that would be like a that would be like a full on revolution. If yeah. Like, Kaiji's that, that'd be been the... doing this for like ten years. Right, right. And he's like, "All right, guys, we're gonna stick it to them." Yep. You you've got the box of marbles with a bunch of like you know pinheads, and it's the if you shake it en enough times, one time that you shake it, they'll all stand on the pinheads. You know, at the same time, right? <laughs> yeah. Like it's like maybe theoretically, but mm, I don't think it's so. possible. <laughs> yeah. I love though that we got to see. Um, uh, was that in the previous episode? The guy up in the the cabinet. Yes, that was previous, that was previous episode. episode. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. But yeah. yeah. But the fact that yeah we got that that's the okay we are we are starting to get a peek behind the curtain even if it's mm -hmm. not from an in character perspective. Yeah. Yeah. But God. All right. Mm -hmm. They both have two. They all have two stars. Kaiji's still still uh -huh. giving them the leeway here, which shows he's got them. He's got yep. them. And and. Given how you defeated these people, 
you probably don't have to worry about anyone beating you with stockpiled paper, even though now you're going to stockpile paper just to make sure. I, I love the idea of stockpiling paper, though. Mm -hmm. Like, they're doing their strategy, but they have actual genuine trust with each other. Right. And, and the people that have scissors will probably be a bit more confident because they're like, well, we're the rare one now, so mm -hmm. yeah, let's play some scissors. No, rock, rock, rock. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's it's just gonna go horribly right. wrong for everybody else now. Yeah. Like I love it. But y'all, thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below. For our Patreon, you can get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general. And be sure to check out my uh, Persona 5 uh, Royal Let's Play going on right now on Twitch. So, yeah, if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.